One of the most intimidating aspects when it comes to building an email campaign is deciding what to say. And there also is that idea that sending an email will attract your client's attention. This couldn't be further from the truth. But don't worry. In this part of the course, we're going to go through the five-step process to ensure that your email campaigns are successful. Step one, personalization and worthy content. Firstly, don't forget to include the sweetest sound to someone's ears, their name. Secondly, always ask yourself, what are you trying to achieve with this campaign? A campaign should not just all be sparkle. There should be some content in there worthy of your client's attention. Here are six suggestions you can ask yourself when trying to decide what content to include in your email. Number one, who are you talking to? Two, what is your email about? Three, where should your clients go? Four, why are you sending this email? Five, when is what you're offering available? Six, how can your clients get the offer? Another good point to remember is that people don't like being sold to directly. So instead of talking about what you're offering, try instead sell the idea of a product or treatment. Step two, think about your subject line. Your subject line is your way of saying hello to your clients. Make sure that your subject line will grab the attention of your clients. And also make sure that your subject line and your content of your email is relevant so your clients know exactly what to expect when they open your email. Here's how to make your subject line stand out. Keep it short and to the point, but have fun with it. Try to limit the number of characters between 36 and 50 characters, including spaces. Try adding an emoji into your subject line to draw your client's attention, and keep chopping and changing your subject line so they don't become stale and boring. Step three, picking the right graphics. You know that saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Well, that doesn't really apply here. Picking the right graphics will play an important part of making that first impression. You know what they say, a picture paints a thousand words. Here's how to pick a graphic. Show humans. Psychological, but true. Your clients are more likely to click through campaigns if they see another human in the image. Choose the right colors. Choose complementary colors. Go a step above and use the colors that complement your brand. Choose images with a focus. We essentially have the attention span of a goldfish these days. Ensure our image is something that will direct the reader's attention to something specific. Think about the concept first. Start with the message you want to get across, write the content, then pick an image that reinforces your message. Step four, don't forget to include a call to action. This should probably be the first rule of thumb when we're looking at your campaigns, but seeing as how we're working down the email, it's now the time to mention adding a call to action. Your clients when reading a message shouldn't have to figure out what to do or how to book in. So always make sure that you include a link that the client can book online. Some example CTAs you should include are, if you're promoting a new treatment or service, include a link directly to that service. If you're promoting a new staff member, include a booking link directly to their calendar. If your email is about your new salon branded app, include a downloadable link. Make sure your CTA stands out, is easy to click and only conveys one idea. Oh yeah, and limit the number of CTAs you include in your email. Sometimes less is more. Step five, finish with a signature. Probably one of the most neglected aspects of an email is the signature. However, when used correctly, your signature becomes your e-business card. A good email signature should display your salon's brand identity, be consistent across all your employees, contain links to your website, social media, and any actions you want them to take, like downloading your app. Includes all of your contact details so the client can reach out, and is visually appealing and not too bulky. Now that you have a better understanding of the Forest five-step processes for email marketing, it's time to implement what you've learned. 
But before you go hitting send, there's two more steps we want you to follow. First of all, proofread your email. Have a staff member glance over it, just to make sure that you have no mistakes in there. Secondly, send yourself a test one before you send it to any client, just to make sure that you are happy with the layout and how it looks. 